Hello and welcome everyone to the new game. New game on my channel, but this game has at least a few months of really, really great developing. And now it's moved to the alpha. Because before it was pre-alpha, now it's alpha 1.1. And the game is really developing re extremely fast. And they are getting, they are making great updates with new stuff. Hard working to make their players and fans happy. Well, what's the name of the game? That's a good question. I went to Google Translator to check how do you pronounce, how would you pronounce Empyron, Empyreon, or whatever it is, uh, in English, if that was a real word. So, the Google Translator said something like Empyreon. Yeah, that's pretty hard for me to pronounce that way all the time. In Poland, I would basically say Empyreon. Well, I find it more easy uh, to say Empyron. It sounds a little, mm, a little better and uh, not so hard to pronounce, more like English pronunciation but still not that. So that's it, em Empyron Galactic Survival. That's a great game you can find on Steam. It's developed by the Alone Game Studios and uh, well as I said they are working really hard and they have a small team. Uh, most of them are from Germany and this is their first big project as far as I know. So there, there's let's go just quick from uh, through all the many stuff. Well not exit of course, player, player setup. Well I'm playing as a female but don't look at me as weird. <laughs> well I like to play in games as female just because yeah. And uh, yeah, that's my outfit, the weird colors used, so I'm not just a single color person, like whole white or whole black, you know. And uh, my nickname as always. Options. Taking a look at the options, we have a misc, uh, some basic stuff, controls, that's pretty great, you can select primary and secondary. And as well the mouse keys are working, additional mouse buttons. I have I have additional buttons in my mouse so I can use all of the mouse 0 1 2 3 4 and I could also use 5 and others so that's a great feeling not in all games this is working some games do not detect when I try to set up my mouse buttons additional okay uh, and well there are audio settings total volume music volume and ambient volume that was added in the recent update because they did a great job on the audio in this game. So now we can as well control the ambient volume that was added for the alpha 1.0 and and that's really great. I will show you in the game soon soon. And uh, the video settings, they are not really great to be honest. We have many resolutions, some of them are not even supported. I'm not sure what that means. Well Probably they will work, but they might be buggy or not 100%, you know, working without uh, problems. And the full screen, okay, that's not full, real full screen, that's the, I think they call it borderless full screen, so it's windowed without borders, something like that. Well, that's not very important for the players, but it would be much better to have real full screen in this game. We have quality. Best, good, fast. Well, that's very simple for now. And uh, really, really simple, but I'm sure they will focus on it later. Because now they are trying to give us, provide the best gaming experience. And Fausting, of course. Okay, so that's for it. When you are checking the uh, menu, we can, of course, make a new game. And there's the game name, game mode. It can be creative, ever survival game seat so that's the weird numbers you type to get the some kind of word uh, generator well you can just make it random right or you can just type whatever you want your birth date or what then or other things and maybe you'll get a really great map uh, great planets and locations and starting location we have two planets we can start on that's aqua and that's the easiest one to start with because it has oxygen, it has uh, average temperature, quite normal as on Earth. 
and to lower gravity than on Earth, less than 1G. And we can start on the Omicron, but that was pretty easier in the past, but now the game is getting a little bit harder harder and now they're pushing it to be more survival. And I find it's I find it really great as they are trying, you know, to be to make the game real challenge, not you know just oh there's food, there's oxygen, there's water, I can live there without any problems, not bothering about fruits and stuff. Well just chill. No no it's not like that. You get some alien attacks, drone attacks uh, hostile creatures, there's a lot of stuff ongoing there, so that's really amazing and we can suffer from from lack of uh, oxygen, uh, food and many other factors. But besides these two planets we have a bunch of more and more planets and objects like asteroids, like, uh, like moons. Let's take a look, when you switch to the creative mode we can start on these two planets with some structures and uh, and some, some vessels, um, but then we can as well choose the Omicron orbit. We can choose oh, just these three. Hmm. Before I thought that we could start on the on the other planets as well, but that's not, not a big deal. When you choose the creative mode, Omicron orbit. You get, you get the capital vessel in which you can travel to another planet pretty fast. So if you want to, you know, not uh, try the survival at the beginning, just go with a creative scavenge and travel through the world, which is pretty big. And now we are finally moving to the game. Uh, mm, the name is Mare through Well, Mare from the name of my friend, part of it, Matty Mares. And uh, of course my nickname is true, just a combination, <laughs> because I'm playing on this, on this save together with my friend online. For now I'm playing through the Hamachi. Well, we have the original games, right? But uh, we find it pretty easy to play through the Hamachi, because hosting a server, dedicated server, takes a lot of uh, memory, uh, CPU, and well, I don't have so great machine to, uh, you know, to host dedicated server. Okay, so we are in the game, that's me, we are on the planet Aqua, as I said, and that is my ship. Well, not fully designed by me, but I was using a blueprint, that's a really great feature in this game. I will show you right now, here we, when we go to the menu, we have something like blueprint library, and we can we have some basic we get at the beginning of the game, so even if you are not sure how to create something, you can use the blueprints provided by the developers. Or we can go to the uh, workshop and get some really cool blueprints created by other players, like this one. Hover Vessel Project Wild Cruiser. And you need just to collect assemble the resources needed to make it total production time it takes like 30 minutes for this one uh, and yeah that's really cool if you find something amazing and you don't want to reproduce it block by block here you can see we have a core player faction we have uh, thrusters mm. what else here we have uh, normal thrusters uh, here we have fuel tanks you can see I don't have much energy left, just one of the fuel tanks is working and I can't feel the other one, I have biofuel and I'm not sure why I can't use it here I didn't figure out yet what is the biofuel thing as... oh, there is time only one, let's use it and uh, there is the generator, you can see it right there okay, let's see if it can turn, turn it on Well. I'm not sure, before in the past you could turn off the generators from the outside of the ship, now it's probably not possible, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's jump into the ship, uh, Yeah, there are some nice textures, colors, we can now switch between many of them, we can change the light colors, I'm not sure what the harvester model at uh, this thing, but I will find out f soon, pretty soon. Okay, so we are in the ship. Can use a first person view 
and the third person view well I was thinking qu quite a while how to zoom out because in past I was just you know scrolling now the scroll is working in our left panel just need to click alt and you can scroll you can as well move the camera and look at the ship around and when, when you are done with scrolling out or in you just click alt again and uh, so you can switch the view to be more from the bottom more or more from the top anyway taking a look at the map there's our house our base that's the gamma base and we need to get there what's that survival constructor uh, titan base yeah that's the uh, place where we uh, landed that's a pretty nice uh, kind of uh, how to say it oh I don't remember for all anyway we've got here the information about the resources on the planet uh, we've got iron we've got cobalt copper silicon prometheum and magnesium prometheum is a, a real real uh, real thing well again again I I don't remember the English word sorry for that and we got the planet information, atmosphere, density, gravity, moons, uh, current, current temperature and uh, dancing mode PvE so players cannot kill each other here difficulty the easiest one and here we got the all other planets, Omicron, Ninguis, Alstius, Skelon, Itis, Oscutune, Zahinis, Maspero well the names of these planets are not uh, really easy to pronounce and we've got on each of their distance from them that's the astronomic uh, unit well I think it's how you s how you call it uh, so that's the distance of the earth from the sun right okay and let's take a look at the map we need to go more to the left and let's go we can uh, you know oh that's it no that's not a drone Luckily, I was already pretty scared that I will find the drone. Uh, the drones are really not friendly things that can really, really destroy your uh, your vehicle. We can see some moons in the distance, and right now we can see really great things like forests, jungles, much more uh, fauna and flora, and much better terrain generators, map generators, you can see these mountains look pretty nice and oh, am I heading the right direction? yes I am and that was all of it added in the recent update uh, all these weird wood creatures they are quite hostile but very slow so easy to kill uh, these NPCs walking with spears in the forest that's all was added these blue flowers all of that things was added in the recent update before that update before the alpha was released the game was still a really great game but it was lacking you know the environment in which you were playing in which you were living but now it's all done and now it's really great you can experience all of it and the sounds in this game oh that was hard landing I should make something like that when I'm in the air, like hover height 3 meters, power usage, power left, dock no, gravity, passengers zero. I should just land like this. Yeah. And I think I should be using some landing gears. I'm not sure if if you should use them. Oh, what's that? Okay. If you should use them for the hover vessel, but I will take a look at that at it in the internet. Now we can hear all the surrounding sound of the forest, of the, of the uh, birds, animals, that's amazing. Before it was pretty quiet in the game. Okay, that's our base. We don't have many walls yet, as you can see. Uh, wait, let's change. So, oh, wow. I think we didn't have these walls before, or maybe, maybe I'm just paranoid right now, but okay. Anyway that's our turret for the defense right there's something there there's a drone base and it's attacking us all the time right and we've got food processor we've got generator we've got a 
small fuel tank filled with energy with fuel right fuel packs made from prometheum a small light for the night that's our core we need to protect it very well because if you lose the core of your base you need to put you need to place a new one or you can't do uh, you can't do anything in your base and that's the large constructor there are our materials and all we can create in this game but besides these things we can still oh that's the control panel of the base yeah and that's the mass power usage blah 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 all the information right and statistics there are the statistics you can see uh, also added in the previous update okay so what we want to go to that's the that's the our uh, player helmet slot backpack slot not active yet uh, jetpack slot body armor slot leg oxygen and boot slot that's probably going to be added very very soon to the game because now we cannot use it we've got levels available points and we are using these points to suicide no no uh, to upgrade and unlock stuff in our tech tree which is pretty amazing for because before in the past you could you know just craft everything in your first day and now you have to choose what is more important for you and it is even better when you're playing together with a friend is you know taking the stuff for the small vessel or something else for the tools and time thinking for the weapons or maybe hover vessels as you can see uh, quite many green things unlocked yeah <clears throat> so now now the thing is that you get quite many points every level so it's it's going pretty fast to unlock all the things and so it's not annoying it's very very comfortable with a player and easy okay what else what else we've got our tools of course there's the projectile pistol we get the beginning of the game we've got a drill we've got remove repair tool we've got flashlight there's a chainsaw you get it at the beginning of the game as well and it was added in the recent update but i don't want to cut the trees here i think we can't use uh, seeds to to put their seeds and to make the trees crawl again after we cut them that's something i need to check and yeah what else what else can you say uh, the water looks much better right now uh, one of the most important things when you're playing is h2 oxygen generator o2 so here we are getting hydrogen and oxygen bottles before we're ju getting just oxygen but we know well from the chemistry that water consists hydrogen and oxygen right so now it's more realistic and we are getting water here water jugs that's as well a new thing added recently so that's really great the other great thing added to the game is when you put a helmet on you can see the borders on your screen they get darker and when you put it off it's normal but well, that's great because in past some players were using helmet like you know when they were in the water water so they could breathe underwater and after getting out of the water they didn't remember to take it off when you're using a helmet you're losing your oxygen and well that's important and much better now besides that uh, when you've got a steel blocks for example really really great thing that I love we, we want to put it for example here but we want to change the shape now we just right click and choose the shape besides that uh, we can use some great great other tools uh, let's see change and rotate tool and uh, texture and symbol tool and uh, anything else harvester model no that's all I think well that would be better better to look at the tech tree and for now what about the vehicles in this game I want to tell you that uh, let's take a look at the uh, drone new thing added every player has now a drone I think it, we need to type a 5 right that's the drone I'm, I'm using right now oh 
and it's pretty nice to use it it's not that hard and well you can learn really fast oh I hate the ground <laughs> yeah I'm controlling the drone uh, it would be pretty m it would be nice from the developers to add I know some kind of pilot or things that I can hold in my hands so I can see me from the drone you know controlling it really and f by the drone I can um, use some stuff I don't know what exactly oh I can build you can see using the drone I can build something so I don't have to use jetpack or jump or you know there are places it's harder to get and I just can use this drone to go but sadly not anywhere when you go farther you're using your Zyna so you can go too far from the uh, from your character right and what else I wanted to show you I wanted to show you something but I don't remember what exactly oh god uh, well the vehicles we've got hover vessel which is great to travel around the planet we've got small vessel which is great to travel uh, let's say um, well to the moon uh, to the space and uh, it's kind of harder to get to the other planet with a small vessel I think it's impossible before it was right now to get on the other planets and moons you need to use the capital vessel that is really hard to create and it will be pretty huge but it must have the let's take a look at the tech tree uh, where is the tech tree we've got here capital where's capital capital vessel right there for the capital vessel we need well we don't need but we should use gravity generator we should use warp drive tank, warp drive and the other stuff is not very important but the most important thing is warp drive so you can really jump using your warp drive to the other planets just in seconds and uh, that's it, that's something like, like taken from the Star Trek I know right but I like it and I think most of the Star Trek fans really like the idea and of course we can use jetpack as I as I show you right now at the moment it, it's, it's not uh, unlimited but it recovers after the time right so for most of you players that enjoy survival games I want to tell you that's the game for you and for the players that enjoy let's say Space Engineers also really great game uh, just go and check out this game you can wait for the sell or purchase it right now and yeah this game is really worth your time worth playing it factions pdas tutorial some missions basic you can create a faction and play multiplayer on big servers and or just simply enjoy your time on single player or with one two friends playing through the hamachi land parties yeah that's it and the last thing the last thing is a question do you guys really want to see some more videos from this game I would be really happy to to record more and more for you so yeah I know this game is really in the early alpha but it's as enjoyable as you cannot imagine the players on the steam writing reviews they have like I saw already many of the players having over 5,000 thousand hours in this game and the top review has 2,000 hours played in this game 2,000 hours, oh my god that must be a really, really huge geek or nerd, I don't know but well, that shows how much the players are enjoying this so thanks everyone for watching